Set number 16 for our civil service exam related mathematics. By the way, to number 6, um, edited na ito, what is the value of 16 to the exponent of 1 half or 16? Ang exponent niya ay 1 half. Before kasi, ang nasulat dito ay 16 and 1 half lang. Walang uh, ganito. Walang para maklaro siya na exponent yung 1 half niya. Bali, typo error yun. Number 1. Land consisting of a square section is sold for 1,850 per acre. One square section is equivalent to 160 acres. The total sale price is, i-multiply mo lang natin itong 1,850 times 160. Itong dalawang zero, ignore mo na natin yan, mamaya na yan. So, this is 51, 11, 5, 8, 1, 6, 9, 2, at i-bring down si dalawang zero. Now, the answer is $296,000, letter A. Number 2, the planet Pluto is estimated at the mean distance of 3,666 million miles from the sun. The planet Mars is estimated at the mean distance of 36 million miles from the sun. How much closer to the sun is Mars than Pluto? Magdidak lang tayo, 666 million uh, minus 36. So this is 0, 3, 6, 3. 3,630 million ang answer. Letter C. Number 3. A rectangular track of land measures 860 feet by 560 feet. Approximately how many acres is this? One acre is equivalent to 43,560 square feet. Ang unahin natin ay i-multiply itong 86 at saka, it, uh, I mean 860 at saka yung 560. So, 860560. Ito, ignore muna natin. So this is 36, 51, 30, uh, 3, 43, 6, 1, 8, 4, tapos i-bring down yung dalawang 0. Now mayroon tayong uh, 481,600. I-divide natin ng 43,560. O na uh, i-cancel natin yung isang 0, isang 0. So ang I-divide na lang natin ay 48,160. So, 48,160 divided by 4,356. Kasi kinansil natin ang mga isang zero nila. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is 1, 4, 3, 5, 6. And there is a 6, 4, 0. 4,600 divided by 4,356. 1 pa rin yan. So, 4, 3, 5, 6. 4, 4, and this is uh, 2. So, Less than na siya, so ang answer dito ay 0. Huwag na natin i-tuloy yan kasi sa choices naman ay isa lang ang 11. So the answer is 11.05 acres. Letter B. Number 4. A dormitory now houses 30 men and allows 42 square feet of space per man. If 5 more men are put into this dormitory, how much less space will each man have? I-multiply muna natin ito. 42 times 3, and that is 160 
Tapos, i-add mo yung 0. So, 1,260. Ito. Now, uh, plus 5. 30 plus 5, and that is 35. So, i-divide mo ng 35. Ito yung space, eh. Ang total space. So, i-divide mo ng 35. So, 100, 1,000, 35, 1,000. This is 3, 105. So, 6. 36 ang sagot dito. So, itong nasa given na ang each, 42. Tapos, pag maada ng, fa ng 5 more men, tag 36 na lang. So, 42 minus 36 is equals to 6. So, ang answer dito ay letter B. 6 square feet. Uulitin ko kung sakaling nalilito kayo. A dormitory houses 30 men and allows 42 square feet per man. So, itong 30, i-multiply mo ng 42 kasi kada tao man. So, itong 30 na to, may, uh, kada isa nila may 42 square feet. So, i-multiply mo. Kaya, ang 30 times 42 is equals to 1,260. Ngayon, naadan sila ng 5. 30 plus 5 equals 35. Yung 260, i-divide natin ng 35 kung tag-ilan na sila. Kasi dati, tag-42 sila square feet. I-divide natin 35 na sila instead na 30. Kasi kung ito, i-divide natin ng 30, ang kakalabasan ay 42. Ngayon, 35 na sila. So, i-divide natin ng 30 and that is 36 square feet. Ang kadaisa nila sa nung naada na sila ng 5. Ngayon, nung una, 40, tag-42 sila. Nung nag, may 5 na, tag-36. So, i-minus mo siya. Uh, 42 minus 36 equals 6. So, the answer is letter B. Number 5. On a particular morning, the temperature went up 1 degree every 2 hours. If the temperature was 53 degrees at 5 a.m., at what time was it 57 degrees? Una, i-minus natin. 57 minus 53, that is 4. So, 4 degrees ang increase niya. Itong 4, i-multiply natin ng 2 kasi every 2 hours. Bali, 8 hours. So, sa loob ng 8 hours, naging 57 degrees. Ngayon, yung 5 a.m. plus 8 hours, 5 a.m. Ada natin ng 8 hours and that is 13 or 1 p.m. So, the answer is letter D. Number 6. What is the value of 16 na may exponent na 1 half? Yung unang given ko ay 16 and 1 half lang. Bali, nag-typo error ako dito. Now, what is the value of 16 and 1 half? Itong 16 and 1 half, pareho lang yan sa square root of 16. So, the answer is letter B, 4. Another example. Um... Uh, Example lang tayo, 8 and 1 third. Itong nasa uh, denominator, yan yung dito. So, bali, cube, cube root siya. Ito namang 1, dito yon, Yan. So, ang answer dito ay, ay bali ang 8 na may exponent na 1 third, itong, third ay, itong denominator na to, ito yung i-root natin or cube roots siya. So, ito namang 1 ay exponent siya sa loob nitong 8 na to, yung base. So, ang answer dito ay 2. Ito lang, uh, example lang. So, dito naman, balik tayo. So, the answer is letter B. Number 7. What is the median of the following group of numbers? Ano ang median? The median of a group of numbers is found by arranging the numbers in ascending or descending order and then find or then finding the number in the middle of the set. So, bali ito, ano ba? Uh, 12, dalawang 14, tapos 16, 
twenty at saka twenty two. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. So, ah, tag tatlo tatlo. Ito ang iad natin. This is thirty. I divide natin ng two, and the answer is fifteen. So, ang sagot ay letter C. Fifteen. Number eight. Sixteen. And uh, square root of 2 minus 4 square root of 2. Ito lang ang i-minus natin. And this is 12. At itong uh, square root na ito, kopyahin square root of 2. So the answer is 12 square root of 2. Letter B. When performing addition or subtraction with roots, the terms can only be combined if the radicants... Numbers under the square root symbols, ito, are the same. In this case, the radicands are both 2, square root of 2. Kaya kopyahin lang siya. So, ito lang ang i-deduct natin. So, the answer is letter B. Number 9. Which of the following is equivalent to square root of 20? First, i-reduce muna natin itong square root of 20 sa mga factors niya na may uh, perfect square. Ang factors ng 20 na may perfect square ay 4 times 5. Kasi yung 4, perfect square siya. Square root of 4 is equals to 2. Tapos ito yung square root of 5. So ang answer dito ay 2 square root of 5. The answer is letter A. Number 10. Which of the following numbers is divisible by 6? Bali walang remainder. So, ang divisible by 6, it must be divisible by 2 and 3. So, dapat even numbers ang hanapin natin. We have letter A and letter C. Ito, uh, crush out na natin yan. So, focus tayo sa letter C at saka sa letter A. Ngayon, uh, ang hanapin natin ay yung divisible ng 3 na ngayon. I-add up natin, that is 2 plus 3 plus 2, this is 7, hindi siya divisible ng 3. 5 plus 4 plus 6, 9, 15, divisible siya ng 3. So the answer is letter C. In order for a number to be divisible by 6, it must be able to di be divided by 6 without a remainder. A shortcut to check divisibility by 6 is to see if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. Since 546 is even, ends in 6, even, siya, even number siya, the number is divisible by 2. Since the sum of the digit 5 plus 4 plus 6 equals 15 and 15 is divisible by 3, so 546 is also divisible by 3. Since 546 is divisible by both 2 and 3, it is also divisible by 6.